Hello everyone, Jabman025 here. Today I'm taking a look on my older Master Grades, the Mark II version 2.0 AUG colors. Had a request to do this review, I am happy to take requests for my older kits. I do apologize for taking so long, but I've had a lot on my plate, a lot of different projects I'm working on, but we have some time, so let's have a look and see what we got with this kit. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this kit is the high level of detail. There is a lot of detail put into this kit. There's a bunch of panel lines, a bunch of painting you got to do. Not a ton, but you got a little bit here and there. But a lot of detail work is needed on this kit. But the detail of the kit itself is very, very high. See, so you have these chromed out pipings for the legs. The piston action looks really nice. On the back side, you have these cables that are made out of fabric, kind of like a shoelace. On the backpack and on the back of the legs, a lot of detail work on the legs. As you can see, part of the inside of the inner frame, even the bottom of the feet is highly detailed. This was one of the first 2.0 kits, and it really set the standard for great detail on kits. As for nubs, a few bad ones, but overall not really that much to speak of. There's very little bad nubs on this kit. In terms of posability, big bend out of the shoulder. It'll pop out of its socket and move around. Big bend on the elbow. Nice really long extension on the arms. You get some movement out of the waist on this Gundam. The original Gundam couldn't do that because of a core fighter. Big bend on the knee, pointed toes, and a big bend at the waist. This has excellent posability. You can do just about anything you want with this kit. Cockpit opens. You can see the pallet inside. The section that holds the beam sabers is on a ball joint, so that'll go anywhere, as will the head. The hands are standard 3-1 and then the thumb hands this is before the 2.0 hands came out. The decals on this kit are great in my opinion. They're subtle, but they are there, but they don't overwhelm this kit. But they do have some really nice ones on the shoulders, on the legs, on the back skirt armor, on the back of the shoulders. Takes a good amount of time to get all the decals on there, and there but there are some very nice ones. In terms of accessories, you get this headset, which is seen in the latter half of Zeta Gundam which will clamp right on there. There are a couple little notches in the head that click right in. So you can have that on there if you so desire. You get a very nice beam rifle, two-tone. Has a handle that will swivel in and out. And a ammo pack that can be removed if you want. It also has a clip on the side, and you can hook it onto the side skirt and carry it around like that if you want. And holding the gun is no issue whatsoever. You can see it has a full extension holding it sideways and it's not dropping it. Get a bazooka, movable handle. Very detailed, very nice. Some nice decals on there as well. The ammo pack can re be removed and they give you an extra ammo pack. The bazooka can be put on the back skirt armor and the ammo pack can be put on the side skirt armor. So you can carry that around like that. And once again, no issues whatsoever holding the bazooka. All sorts of neat poses you can pull off with that. Beam sabers obviously come off. They clip right onto the back if you want them to. Red blades, nothing fancy there. The shield, you do have two yellow stickers for the shield. They could have done that with plastic, but not a big issue there. Two extra ammo packs on the shield. Very strong clamp on the arm. The shield can be collapsed as so, but there's nothing really holding it up there. So if you want to keep it collapsed, it kind of, sort of works. Like I said, the clamp's right onto the arm there, and no issues at all holding it. If it's clamped on, it's not coming off. And again, some nice decals on the shield, and that real, looks real nice. They also give you this base, which is kind of a nod to the Argama. You can see it comes with these little figures, which I rarely ever bother with, but they look real nice here. you got a guy in a spacesuit floating there with a little cable. You have the pilot on top of this 
platform that will move up and down. If you want, you can put it all the way down. And you have that other little figure to help movement in. And you see those little teeth on the right-hand side? If you have the Zeta 2.0, you can connect that base to this and make it look like a section of the Argama. It looks real nice. And you see the Mark II on there. kind of looks like it's being serviced or the pilot's getting in or out of the Gundam. So that's a really nice addition to this kit. It has a whole bunch of great accessories, and that's just the icing on the cake right there. Final thoughts on this kit? This is the 2005 kit of the year, and any time I say something is the kit of the year, it's a must-buy. In fact, I'd so go so far to say is, if you put a gun to my head and say, Jabman025, what is the best Master Grade you have ever built? I would probably say this one. This kit virtually has no flaws. It has great accessories. It has great posability. It isn't that expensive. You can get a ton of options with it. You can do all sorts of great things with this kit. If you want a great Master Grade, buy this kit. To date, I don't think I've built a better Master Grade. That tells you how much I think of this kit. So, great pick. Big, big thumbs up. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, ask them. I'll answer them as best I can. And please leave a comment. You guys know I love reading them. Please stay tuned for more. Always got more reviews coming. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Oh, and one more thing. This Gundam is piloted by a Vatican warlock assassin. It runs on tiger blood, and it's winning. Duh! That's right. It's Charlie. Ad oh. Emma Sheen. Emma Sheen. Yeah. You know what? Forget I said anything. Just never mind.